Sound. Don't do anything like where I have to talk. Is that because I'm not very good on film. Brush your hair and put lipstick on, and then you look great. Why don't you brush your hair and put lipstick on? I did. I did. You've got a big trip ahead of you. Yeah. I was shooting a picture, and I had this huge fever, a rash. This rash included the palms of my hands, like. Not in the and they palms. Went to the UCLA emergency. They got very interested in this because rash on the palms of the hands is like one of the signs of syphilis. You couldn't even tell me. I went back and uh, Crystal said, "So what did they say?" I said, "Well, they think it's syphilis." So she said, "You'll have to have your own knife and fork and plate." <laughs> and keep it separate from the rest of us. <laughs> we wouldn't have gotten syphilis from anybody. Well, I think we can all gather that. <laughs> that you don't you get don't syphilis gather. unless you've been poking I it around a bit. You know what I mean? Sticking it in places you're not supposed to. to and then it was, but it was Dr. Elsie who. who no, it was Valley Fever. Valley Fever, when mm. they took the blood test and. <laughs> Valley Fever. Wasn't that about the time you then packed off and left Daisy and I behind when you went to, uh, <laughs> yeah. when you went to the South Pacific? Imagine that. They were only, what, three months old? No, I, I, I am they're not. They're then massively sure, John, fucked up because of John, that. John, you little do you know, and you're their father. They were nearly two. They were not and nearly two. Oh, they were very tiny. They're absolutely <laughs> not. John, he left for 12 feet. I left them as Mr. Mysterio, like my grandparents. Okay. You so left us with two people you barely knew. And That's I fine. went. I could not leave you go off by yourself. Who knows what you might have done? <laughs> you know that? I wasn't going to lose you when the children were small. Oh, um, let me tell you how I'm old they sorry, were. Dear, yes, we get it, we get it. We understand. You mm. we were just two irresponsible parents made to make a movie when they'd rather look after their children. I did not want to lose a husband to another It's person. a very L.A. thing to do. You know? <laughs> Just a minute, sweetheart. I'm comfortable if you're when comfortable. When I came back, you walked and looked towards me. Yes, not we were walking you already. Walked, That's the whole point. You walked towards me. Because I was going, look, Mum, look what you've missed. No. You just make me puke. <laughs> puke to you. Just puke. We were happy oh, when you left us with Mr. and Mrs. Miller. We finally had a stable home. <laughs> Have an opinion. What? Have an opinion while you're sitting here about that, about your marriage. What? <laughs> you had a wonderful marriage. We exactly. We had a wonderful yeah, child. No. We, lucky. we took. It was a we took. Yeah. Yeah. Just got to make a phone call. Yeah, but I feel it's only tapping the chat. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And takes a piss out of me here. What sort of son are you? A lovely son. <laughs> yeah. You're very strange. Well, you just you switch off this soft. It just drives me nuts. Look at her. I just I can't stand it any longer. Okay. It's finished. It's off. Three, four hours. Well, it's Ollie's, not gonna, off. Ollie's gonna take you home. She's going what? Ollie's gonna take you home. <laughs> what do you mean, when is she gonna take you home? Uh, very soon, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> what about a sing song? Take you home, take you home. Just a minute, just take you home. Take me home, take me home. To my family, who I love. Who are you? Forever and ever, through eternity. And Tasha will be with us forever. She's got a lovely voice, Jason. Oh, dear. Dear. Yeah. Could you just switch that signal? You know, more than making a film or wanting to direct, that was really secondary to just wanting to wanting you back in my life. I can cut away, chop everybody out, and there's just you and me. That's how I feel. This viewfinder, which was given to me by David Deutsch when I made my first film, he was the producer, and he inscribed it there. And um, I've used it on many films, and I want you to have it. I've inscribed it with your name here, oh Katrina Loved Dad, because 
I'm passing the baton over to you. Oh, I'm so touched. You, the shots must belong to you, the images. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> so touched. That's amazing. For me, I mean, I just enjoyed, you know, hanging around with you. And so, I don't, I don't, as long as, you know, I'll be happy about this film, as long as you don't release it or put it on television or anything. <laughs> you know what B Billy Wilder said to me once? Uh, he, he, was, he just finished what was his last film, you know. And I said, how's the film then, Billy? And he said, well, John, you know, our movies are like our children for to us. And when you have a kid, you hope he's going to grow up to be Einstein. But sometimes he turned out to be a congenital idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it was pretty bad, that last film of his. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Dad. Do you? Yeah. I wish I could say the same for you. <laughs> I think that was very nice. Oh. It was so much, it was lovely.